Hello YouTube, this is Richard Raising Cane 225. I wanted to do a short video today. My DJI uh, wireless microphone system arrived just today. Um, it is two microphones and a transmitter. This is not a review video of that DJI mic system. It is more about the mounting solution that I came up with for how to mount or how I mounted one of the wireless microphones to the interior of my helmet. Uh, as well as some information on the cameras that I'm using and my uh, goals and objectives on recording audio and video with these systems. So basically, I have two cameras. I have an Insta360 X3 that I usually mount up by my handlebars. And I also use a, a DJI Osmo Action 4 on the chin of my modular helmet. Okay, I'm currently using a Moto RADS uh, mount. That's Moto R-A-D-D-S mount, and it works fine, uh, but I've ordered, and it arrives in a few days, a new mount that came out from chinmounts.com specifically for this helmet, uh, and it will mount up here in the lower part of the chin area, so all of this will be moving down soon. So um, right now, I have my helmet audio uh, being recorded to the Action 4, using this, which is an ACM, a uh, Movo ACM 400 gooseneck mount. It is wired into the interior of my helmet, comes right out the edge here, and then wires up to a audio adapter that just came out from DJI for the Action 4, and I think the Action 3 as well. Um, that adapter has a 3.5 millimeter uh, input jack for um, uh, TRS microphones or TR... RS microphones, and it also has a USB port. Uh, that USB port can take either a USB microphone or a power source to be able to power the camera. I don't think you can use a USB mic and a, T a TRS or TRSS mic simultaneously. In my case, again, I have uh, currently the helmet audio coming from the uh, Movo ACM 400 straight to the, AC to the uh, Action 4. This other mic that you see here is my um, uh, Cardo Pack Talk Edge microphone. So I've got helmet audio currently going to the Action 4, and then I'm powering the camera with a power bank. I did a, a little video on this before, but basically this power bank is mounted here in the back. I came up with a magnetic mounting solution. This is an Anchor 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank. And I can run the camera all day long with this without having to swap batteries. I made a magnetic mounting solution for it. And that system is basically, it's a 1.26 inch square neodymium magnet and two uh, neodymium bar magnets. Uh, each of these are 40 millimeters long, 10 millimeters wide, and 5 millimeters thick. The purpose of the two magnets on either side is to keep this from rotating uh, when it's mounted to the helmet. Uh, these are adhered to the power bank using 3M very high bond tape. I got that on um, VHB tape. I got that on eBay. And it's basically the same type of tape that GoPro mounts are, 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 are used to adhere to things. It's not coming off. Um, on the helmet side, I have the same 1.26 uh, inch magnet square mounted with the same VHB tape. All these magnets I got on Amazon. Uh, they're not expensive. This system's great because it just attaches in place and it's quite secure. I've gone well over 100 miles an hour, turned my head where the wind stream is, is catching it on the sides and it does not come off. So it's quite secure. What's beautiful about this is that if I need to power or recharge my Cardo, I can use a shorter USB cable and, and recharge that. The Pack Dock Edge recharges in 20 minutes, you get 80% charge, which is awesome. So back to the DJI mic system. I wanted to be able to record already synced audio uh, simultaneously from the helmet as well as from my exhaust. And that's why I got this DJI mic system. One of my challenges was trying to figure out how to fit and mount the second uh, DJI mic. So what I came up with was, well, the DJI mics come with a metal clip on the back. And they provide a small square neodymium magnet. These are very powerful magnets, by the way. Uh, and that's for use with a lapel or a shirt, um, either inside or out the shirt. 
So um, using that uh, magnetic capability, what I came up with is I got another one of these bar magnets, the same as on the back of my anchor power bank. And on my cheek pads of my, of my helmet, um, this is an HJC ARFA 91. Um, these cheek pads are removable. On the bottom edge of the cheek pads, there's a little slot. And I was able to slide into that slot one of these bar magnets on this side and one more on this side. And with the bar magnets, I'm then able to just pop into place the DJI microphone. And it's on there hard. It's not going to fall off. I can put it on either side. There's plenty of clearance with the helmet coming up and down. And I'm going to use it with either with or without the, the, the uh, wind muff. I'll test it in each way. The reason I put the magnets on each side is that I don't know if I'm going to get some electrical interference by having a second microphone in such close proximity to, to a second microphone. So, But again, I can mount it to either one. Um, there's plenty of clearance to manipulate the, the, the uh, chin bar up and down. And this way I can record synchronized helmet audio uh, simultaneously to, 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 well, not synchronized to both cameras, but synchronized to one camera or the other. But the ACM 400 to the Action 4 and one of the DJI mics to my Insta360 and then the second mic from my, uh, from my saddlebag right above my exhaust also to the Insta360. Okay. Uh, my next video is going to be, hopefully in a week or so, um, a combined video using footage from both cameras and both microphone systems. And hopefully the mounting solution I came up with is of some use or help to, to others. I've seen some YouTube videos where people are struggling with uh, room and how to mount the DJI mic to the interior of their helmet. But this works great. It was, it was cheap, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, my objectives will will work with uh, with what I've come up with. Hope this is of some help. If anyone has any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the, in the comment section. And again, bear with me. I am not a YouTuber. This is a one-take video using my iPhone. I have yet to really do any kind of really edited video. So uh, please bear with me and my amateurism, just trying to help the community. Okay, guys, stay safe. Have fun.